Washington, AP, Jerry Seinfeld is not a hugger and he let Keisha know it before a star-studded charity event in Washington earlier this week. Video shows Keisha interrupting an interview Seinfeld was doing with a local news reporter ahead of the Night of Laughter and Song event at the Kennedy Center on Monday. The singer wanted a hug from the comedian, but Seinfeld repeatedly declined, backing off and telling her, no thanks. Keisha quickly walked away while Seinfeld laughed and told the reporter he didn't know who that was. He said that he wished her the best after being told it was Keisha. The singer didn't seem too upset about the encounter, posting on Twitter on Tuesday that she has lots to smile about. Trump to nominate ex-Justice Department official to lead FBI Washington, AP, President Donald Trump on Wednesday announced his pick for FBI director, a former Justice Department official who served as New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's lawyer during the George Washington Bridge Lane closing investigation. Trump's early morning two-sentence tweet that he intends to nomination lawyer Christopher Wray came one day before the FBI director that Trump fired last month, James Comey, was to testify in public on Capitol Hill for the first time since his dismissal. Trump called Wray a man of impeccable credentials and offered no more information about the selection, ending the tweet by saying, details to follow. Ray served in a leadership role in the George W. Bush Justice Department, rising to head the criminal division and overseeing investigations into corporate fraud, during the time when Comey was Deputy Attorney General. Ray took charge of a task force of prosecutors and FBI agents created to investigate the Enron scandal. Comey, during his appearance before the Senate Intelligence Committee, is expected to describe his encounters with Trump in the weeks before his firing May 9. Comey could offer new details regarding discussions with Trump about the federal investigation into Russia's election meddling. The White House and its allies have been looking for ways to offset that potentially damaging testimony and have been working on strategies aimed at undermining Comey's credibility. Ray works in private practice for the King and Spalding law firm. He represented Republican Christie in the Lane Closing investigation, in which two former Christie aides were convicted of plotting to close bridge lanes to punish a Democratic mayor who wouldn't endorse Christie. Copyright 2017 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed. Facebook email. We selected for you. Play video. 2439. Video, SPD officer arrested in narcotics investigation identified. Ranked. In last 24H. Video, highway hazards. Watched by. A viewers like you. 223. Video, soda tax. In top. New videos. 131. Video, Tacoma trolley. Watched by a viewers like you. 102. What you need to know, Kathy Griffin. Watched by a viewers like you. 215. Video, Painfield Groundbreaking. Watched by a viewers like you. Bon Jovi, Whoopi Goldberg to appear at Songwriters Hall. Updated, June 7, 2017, 523 a.m. Facebook email. New York, AP, John Bon Jovi, Whoopi Goldberg, and Usher are set to attend the 2017 Songwriters Hall of Fame event inducting Jay-Z, Barry Gordy and others. The Songwriters Hall announced Thursday that Irving Azoff, Benny Blanco, Kenneth Gamble, and Leon Huff also will appear June 15 at the New York Marriott Marquis Hotel. The organization previously announced that Max Martin, Kenneth Babyface Edmonds, Jimmy Jam, and Terry Lewis and Chicago's Robert Lamb and James Panko will be inducted this year. Jay-Z will be the first rapper inducted into the Songwriters Hall. 
Ed Sheeran will receive the Hal David Starlight Award, and Pitbull will earn the Global Ambassador Award at the gala and awards ceremony. Others set to appear include Johnny Gill, Pat Monahan, Kelly O'Hara, and Cassandra Wilson. Copyright 2017 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed. Facebook email. We selected for you. Play video. 157. Video, Police Conduct Prostitution Sting at Casino. Ranked. In last 24H. Video, What's Next for Bringing NBA and NHL to Seattle. Watched by. A viewers like you. 2448. Baby born without nose passes, parents heartbroken. Watched by. A viewers like you. Video, Highway Hazards. Watched by. A viewers like you. Video, John Legend, Chrissy Tijan perform with Snohomish High School Choir. Watched by. A viewers like you. 259. Video, Soda Tax. In top. New videos. Massachusetts Medical Pot Dispensary Selling Marijuana Pizza. Updated, June 7, 2017, 514 AM. Facebook email. Quincy, Massachusetts, AP, a Massachusetts medical marijuana dispensary has created a culinary delight for patients who don't want to smoke their pot or eat it in the form of sweets. Quincy-based Hermont Incorporated has been selling cannabis-infused pizza for about three weeks to rave reviews. Director of Operations Seth Yaff says the company has a whole range of marijuana edibles, but he wanted to offer meals that patients could eat without a lot of sugar. The 6-inch cheese pizza sell for $38 a piece. The tomato sauce contains 125 mg of THC, the psychoactive compound in marijuana. The company has sold about 200 already. Yaff says if patients want toppings, they can add their own. Only people with state-issued medical marijuana ID cards are eligible to buy the pies. Copyright 2017 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed. Facebook email. Madeleine Albright's next book warns of fascism's dangers. Updated, June 7, 2017, 5.02 a.m. Facebook email. New York, AP, Madeleine Albright, the former Secretary of State, is worried about democracy. Albright's next book, Fascism, is a warning that democratic governments are fragile and the United States under President Donald Trump is enduring its own crisis. Fascism is part of a two-book deal with HarperCollins and will come out April 2018, the publisher told the Associated Press on Wednesday. Her second book, not yet titled, will be a memoir about her years since leaving the State Department in 2001. Albright, who served under President Bill Clinton, has written the memoirs Prague Winter and Madam Secretary. Former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, who served under President George W. Bush, recently published Democracy. Rice's book examines self-government worldwide and urges the U.S. to be a leader in advocating for freedom and human rights. Copyright 2017 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed. Facebook email. Jerry Seinfeld says no thanks to hug from Keisha. Trump to nominate ex-Justice Department official to lead FBI. Bon Jovi, Whoopi Goldberg to appear at Songwriters Hall. Massachusetts Medical Pot Dispensary Selling Marijuana Pizza. Madeleine Albright's next book warns of fascism's dangers.